Yo guys, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV, back to another review. I actually don't know where we start from that one. I've seen so many bad performances this season and please people just spare me the be positive and stop being negative bullshit because it's so easy to see games like this coming from a mile out. In fact, forget a mile out, like the first 30 seconds, we could have seen this coming. From the first 30 seconds, when Colwell gives away that stupid header, we could have seen some bullshit coming. What an embarrassment of a performance that that was. This is our easiest route to a final. Our easiest fucking route to a final. And we're about to give Liverpool the easiest final in history. This is where we're at. This is where we are fucking at. Because yet again, our structure is a complete fucking mess. An absolute mess. From top to bottom. We have the most fraudulent, fraudulent, fake, fugazi piece of shit manager that I've ever seen at this football club. Who makes excuses... And throws everybody under the bus. Blames injuries. Blames attackers. Blames the bare off chances that we make off mistakes. To try and hide from his ineffectiveness to coach a team. And have any semi-decent game management. The players look clueless. As per usual. This manager, right? He had the nerve to blame another game on injuries. Another match on injuries. When we're playing a, live, a Middlesbrough team with 14 injuries and they lost two players in the first half. And they still beat us. <laughs> they still beat us. This guy's structure is fucking pathetic. And I know man are going to tell me talk about the players. Everybody bar Petrovic stunk. The Sassy was, I think, the only other person who could have his head held high in the first half. Maybe Enzo. Everybody else was sinful. Everyone else was sinful. But who put us out in that structure? Why did Middlesbrough look more comfortable, look more technically secure, look more confident than us, and they are a mid-table championship side? Can, can you explain that to me? Can you try and explain that to me? Why am I seeing wingers push to the touchline again when they constantly struggle to have any impact by playing that way because they have to beat four or five players to just generate a chance? Why am I seeing Enzo play as second striker, play as a left wing in other periods? What are we doing? What are we attempting to do? And then... This guy, yet again, goes into halftime, doesn't change a thing. Doesn't change a thing, just sits there, twiddles his thumbs for 45 minutes. Sits there passively. And by the way, this fan base loved to go at Graham Potter for being passive and not looking like he gave a damn. Look at Potch on the touchline. Man will sit there, like this, like, like me right now, with his legs crossed, like this for 40 minutes. Then he'll get up, he'll get up, and you know what he'll do? He'll cross his arms again. Let me let me look like I'm thinking. Let, let me look like I'm I'm, I'm creating a, some tactics in my mind. In reality, I'm clueless. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just gonna look like I'm busy. I'm gonna look like I, I deserve to be here. Look like you belong. That's how he got this fucking job in the first place. The fact that he's not been sacked now it is disgraceful. And to the owners, to owners, the longer that you allow this guy to stay at this job, the more you are enabling it. The more you are enabling it. He should be gone tonight. He should be gone tonight. Because if you act based on him getting us knocked out of the competition. Over everything else that has led up to this point. Then you're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You cannot allow him to throw away our easiest and probably best opportunity at Europe. Our best opportunity at Europe right now. Because this guy has thrown our entire season away. The game management. Oh, don't get me started. Like, 
Madwaki was struggling in that game. We can all agree on that. But he was the only one who was actually getting past players and trying to make something. What do we do? We'll take him off. Enzo Fernandez, the only guy trying to pass forward consistently. The only guy who's not being rash on the ball and making decisions rashly and losing possession. We take him off. But that Rottweiler Conor Gallagher gets a full 90 again. Seriously, I am sick to death of people overhyping Conor Gallagher like he's been any better than half of the crap that's been at this team this season. That guy, when we have the majority of possession, he is fucking clueless. He don't know what to do with the added time that he has on the ball. Clueless. The man was losing the ball, dribbling to himself. Figure that one out. The constant overtouching, poor passing, shit decision making. It's not just him too. You could have got rid of any of those forwards. Cole Palmer and the false nine don't work against a low block. We learned that the hard way. We learned that the hard way. Miss of the season as well from him. But Poch is going to use that as the excuse for why we didn't win. Not your BS structure. Not yet again the fact that nearly every chance we created had to come from an individual mistake. Except for one for Cole Palmer. So we're going to hype up one chance. One clear cut chance that we were able to formulate and say, Well you see, it's the attacker's fault. Poch isn't to blame. Giving you a shit idea of how football works. Get the fuck out of here. This man has been riding off individual brilliance for the last five games. Every game we win is based off moments from the individuals. Not anything that this fraudulent fuck does. He has done nothing. He has done nothing but hold back this entire team. And we are yet again enabling him to keep doing it. And the more we do that, the more it sticks on the owners because you're allowing him. Like, I can be annoyed at Gallagher as well. I want, but this dickhead keeps playing him for a full 90. Keeps playing him for a full 90. Everyone is culpable. Everyone is culpable. It's as simple as that. Big up to Petrovic. Big up to Enzo. That's it. Sterling, like, what the fuck did you do all game? Invisible. And then when you were visible, I, I wished you were invisible. Matuaki struggled, but again, at least you were trying to get past players. Silva, we need, we really, really need to move on from Silva, man. We really have to. Because th this guy is just looking slow, lethargic, and the balance is not there. The man is slipping basically every game, left, right, and center. He's starting to look like a bit of a press trigger himself. The Sassi, I actually thought was decent in the first half. Second half... <laughs> Boy, reverted back to type with everybody else. Reverted back to type with literally everybody. It was fucking pathetic. Guess you won't be seeing me at Fulham. I ain't going to that shit. Fuck that. These men don't want to turn up. I will not turn up. I don't want to hear shit. Don't even give me that whole plastic fan bullshit. I don't care, man. Fuck you. I suffered last season. I'm not suffering this season. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that BS. I'm out. Peace.